Good evening. This is our uh, the Mental Health Council of Australia's 2014 budget uh, night wrap-up. Uh, we've got uh, as much information together as we can on budget night. Obviously, there'll be a bit more analysis over the next couple of days, but I know a lot of people will be keen to hear the sort of major headlines. Uh, firstly, the um, uh, coalition government have met their pre-election promises to mental health. Uh, they weren't extensive. Uh, they agreed to fund headspace centres, some new headspace centres, a new centre for uh, youth mental health research. Uh, they agreed to have a review of mental health that, as you know, is underway and is being conducted by the National Mental Health Commission. So all of those things uh, continue and are funded as part of the budget tonight. A range of other measures, though. Uh, we had a bit of a watch list when we went into the budget lock-up tonight, and I intend to just briefly run through uh, those measures so you get a bit of a sense of where things are. Uh, one of the major uh, direct impacts on mental health is that the rollout of the Partners in Recovery program uh, will be paused at this stage. So existing programs will continue to operate, uh, but the 15 or so areas that did not uh, receive allocations of Partners in Recovery programs in the first round will not receive them over the next two years. So the government are going to wait and see what happens in that first stage rollout before they decide what um, uh, happens to the future of that program. Uh, it's a bit disappointing, I have to say, to see that the savings measure, the, the, the saving that's achieved from that, is going to be invested into the uh, Medical Research Fund, this new $20 billion Medical Research Fund. Uh, I think the Medical Research Fund could be a great thing, but I don't think we should be sacrificing services to go directly into that fund. Uh, we've seen uh, funding for programs like personal helpers and mentors rolled over for the next 12 months, and I know that's good news for many people who are waiting on the future of their contracts. I understand that the department have letters ready to go tomorrow morning to people who are holding those uh, contracts and will essentially be uh, rolling over existing contracts on much the same terms for 12 months. After that 12-month period, uh, the FAMS will start to be uh, absorbed and, and rolled into the NDIS, and so we'll have to wait and see a little bit longer exactly what that means. Uh, we're not seeing any substantial changes to the rollout of timing for the National Disability Insurance Scheme, uh, no renegotiation of the bilateral agreements that we thought might have taken place. Uh, we are seeing an extension of the Mental Health Nurse Incentive Program uh, only for 12 months, and uh, like other things, I guess the future of that program is going to be dependent on the review that the National Mental Health, Condition, uh, the National Mental Health Commission are conducting uh, currently. No substantial changes to the Better Access Program, as might have been expected, but some changes to uh, a cut to, to programs. So the Mental Health Better Access to Education and Training Program, the fund that trains GPs in their um, strategies around better access, will be cut, and that'll affect, I know, organisations like the Mental Health Professionals Network, uh, the APS, uh, the RACGP, and some others. Now, we've seen some really substantial changes to... Uh, access to disability uh, support pensions and New Start allowance. Uh, we're going to circulate some information that uh, ACOS and Carers Australia are getting together on those initiatives. Essentially though, uh, as expected, we're going to see it uh, harder for people to receive disability support uh, payments and we're going to see harder conditions uh, around uh, New Start payments. Uh, the Medicare Locals, the review of Medicare Locals, people may have missed it, uh, was made public on Sunday night at midnight, I believe, uh, and we've seen some initiatives arising out of that review in this budget. Uh, the Medicare Locals, while not being abolished, are going to be renamed uh, primary health care organisations. There's not going to be as many of them. I've heard estimates vary between 15 and 30 or so for how many will be uh, in future. Uh, and uncertainty around the timing. Though it's interesting, as I said, the Partners in Recovery program is intended to continue its current uh, rollout, and as you'll know, many of those programs are contracted to um, uh, to Medicare Local. So I, I think that'll be a bit of a watch this space for the transition. Uh, we've seen the introduction of co-payments in uh, general practice, uh, and we, in our press release tonight, have indicated some concern about the impact that that's going to have on people, uh, particularly uh, where we want to encourage people to take steps early to see their GP or to seek assistance for early onset uh, mental illness. Uh, 
uh, and uh, similarly some adjustments to the co-payments on the pharmaceutical benefits scheme as well. Uh, for those who follow the activity-based funding, which is important in many areas of mental health, we are seeing uh, the Independent Hospital Pricing Authority rolled into this new um, sort of super agency that was recommended by the uh, Commission of Audit. That will take place, but the timing is as yet uncertain, uh, likely to take place over the next 12 months. Mm -hmm. The negotiations with the states, at least, will take place over the next 12, 12 months. Hard to see exactly when that will come out. Obviously, negotiations with states are likely to be time-consuming uh, and difficult. Interesting that the budget does uh, make uh, an allocation for funding for a classification system in mental health, which is one of the prerequisites for activity-based uh, funding. Uh, so all in all, uh, a bit of a mis mi mix match of, uh, of programs and initiatives. Um, obviously, there'll be more information and analysis over the next couple of days. You can get our press release if you visit our uh, website at www.mhca.org. Au, uh, but we'll be spending a fair bit more time uh, really going through this analysis, looking at the analysis of, that other organisations make. Uh, and certainly by the time you receive our update on Friday, uh, there'll be pretty comprehensive information about the implications of some of those uh, budget measures. Glad you could join us uh, tonight and we look forward to uh, talking to you again in future.